So with iOS 13, you can finally play iOS games with your PlayStation DualShock 4 controller. And it's really easy to set up and we're gonna show you how to do it. So to set this up, you're gonna need iOS 13 or you're gonna need iPad OS 13 if you're on an iPad. And at the moment, that means you're gonna to need to be on the beta, which is a little buggy right now. Aside from that, you simply need a Sony DualShock 4 wireless controller, um, need to have it charged and Fortunately, that's all you need. Any Sony DualShock 4 wireless controller should work with it. So to set it up, first you're gonna to go to the settings app, and then you're gonna to go to Bluetooth, and then you're gonna make sure that this green light is toggled on. If it's not, make sure it's on because otherwise your Bluetooth isn't on. So you're gonna put that down, and then you're gonna grab your DualShock 4 controller, make sure that it's charged, then you're gonna hit the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time, and you're gonna hold them down for about four seconds. If it's trying to pair, the light should start flashing like this. So over on your phone, you're going to see under other devices, DualShock 4 wireless controller. Press it and immediately your controller should connect. And you can tell if it's connected by if looking at the controller and seeing if it has this pink light on there. If it is, you're good to go and you're set to play any game that supports MFI controllers. To disconnect it, because otherwise it's just gonna stay on the whole time, open your control center and then go to the Bluetooth menu here. And then you will hold this where it says Bluetooth DualShock 4 wireless controller. Hold that, you'll see DualShock 4 wireless controller in the option, press it, and it will immediately disconnect. As you can see, it's no longer active. If you want to unpair it completely, which is probably a good idea if you're going on a trip and you don't want it to actually turn on in your bag, just go back to the Bluetooth menu, hit this little I button right here, and put forget this device. It is now unpaired, and as you saw, if you want to pair it again, it's a super simple process.